Did you just say I should be icing my balls for higher testosterone and libido? Hello, everyone, and welcome to this video on icing the testicles to boost testosterone and libido. So for those of you who are brand new, my name is Lucas. I am the founder of Ergogenic Health. And in this video, I'm going to break down some of the pretty amazing benefits of icing the balls for essentially optimizing testosterone, fertility, and libido. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. So I wanted to start by sharing my own blood test result after icing my own balls for about 12 weeks. Uh, mind you, I was also incorporating some other um, supplements, herbs, and other lifestyle hacks to elevate and boost my testosterone as high as possible. But I wanted to put this forward to basically show you that your blood test does not lie. I mean, even when I got this test performed, my doctor was, uh, he actually asked me if I've been using any anabolic ag agents and things like that. And obviously at the time I wasn't using anything at all. Um, or anything that could dramatically have such a, a super physiological effect on uh, testosterone. So just wanted to put that out there uh, first and foremost, um, before we get stuck into the science and some of the benefits of icing the balls. So where did this idea actually originate? Well, funnily enough, uh, it actually stemmed from um, a particular bodybuilding forum on bodybuilding.com where there were a lot of users talking about how various Russian and Chinese powerlifters were actually icing their balls before uh, trying to break a PB or smash like a personal best. And, um, you know, ever since then, I sort of came across that thread and then I um, delved into more of the research, started experimenting with it myself, started recommending it to other guys. And then, essentially it's now becoming uh, more and more common. So uh, I want to sort of break down some of the benefits and I'll sort of explore um, some other fundamental aspects to this practice. So why ice your balls? Well, to put it very simply, anytime your testicles are slightly too warm, that is plus two degrees Celsius, your testicular cells cannot function optimally. Now, this is due to the oxidative stress that heat um, can induce in the testicles and in sp specifically by affecting some of the um, sodium potassium ATPase enzymes that actually govern um, sperm production and spermatogenesis. So here are some key benefits of icing your balls. Um, the very first one is increased libido. That's honestly noticeable within the first week. We get guys reporting increased morning wood, uh, a deeper voice within the first week or so, uh, more energy, increased testicular hang size, and a whole lot more um, stemming from higher, uh, I guess, testosterone and possibly DHT as well. So you're probably wondering how to ice your balls. So the official protocol that I've developed um, is the first rule is basically just to avoid applying the ice directly to your gonads, to your balls. You do not want to burn the skin. It's just like any other part of your body, you do not want to apply ice directly to your balls. You want to apply the ice to your underwear and press it up against your, your balls. Uh, each session should last about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and you should repeat this about two to three times daily. And the best time to do this is actually just before bed to reap the benefits of um, maintaining a low testicular temperature before we enter um, deep, our deep phase of sleep. So here's some snapshots of the evidence and research that I found um, a couple of years back when I was doing, doing my research. You can see um, there's various studies analyzing the effects of um, high high uh, testicular temperature and how that sort of affects fertility and um, hormonal secretion and things like that. Um, you can see that there's a dramatic improvement in semen quality from nocturnal, so that's um, evening scrotal cooling. 
Testicular heating is a major contributor to male infertility. Yet another one. Impact of diurnal scrotal temperature on semen quality. You can see that there's a correlation between um, scrotal temperature and, and semen quality. Uh, this study was looking at how um, heat can be a male contraceptive. The effects of increased testicular temperature on the testy specific isoform of that sodium potassium pump, ATPase that I was mentioning earlier. Um, so next up we have what men report after icing. Um, so I just took screenshots of some of the Facebook messages for the Facebook group that I um, set up around this practice, which I'll link to in this uh, in the in the description. Uh, so this guy said, I joined this group for a laugh at first, mate. Then I thought I'd give it a go. It's been three nights and I've noticed that I'm waking up with wood and have higher libido. This is hilarious. Ice in my balls has been the next best thing since sliced bread. Been doing it nightly for about a week or so and literally feeling increased erections. It's been about four weeks since I started icing before bed, man. Sex drive is way up. Thought this was bullshit, but I got caught out. <laughs> Bro, I've been icing my balls for six nights so far and all I can say is, wow, getting random boners during the day. Feel like I'm 16 again. Also love the rage it gives me pre-workout. <laughs> hey, mate, great group, great community. Got going, been icing my balls every night for the past week. One side effect for me seems to be a constant boner. Uh, so you can pretty much see some of the, like the early adopters of this strategy. Guys, it's literally a free... Uh, lifestyle hack. You just need to apply ice two to three times a day to your balls and just watch the benefits. You'll just, honestly, you'll feel, you'll subjectively feel more energy. You'll feel a lot better. Um, so if you guys like these hacks, I've actually developed a testosterone masterclass, which I will leave a link to in the description where you can learn about how I actually managed to get my testosterone to 988 nanograms per deciliter. Um, that, that blood test result that you saw at the start. Um, and so here's the link to my website where you can see more incredibly useful uh, biohacks and supplements and um, webinars. And then you'll see some awesome links in the video description for you guys to check out. So um, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you all soon.